Hello everybody, Ragtag Segby here. Welcome to the next episode. In the last battle, we had a fiery battle with Flint. Especially in the case of Fuji. She was able to hold out against one of one of his Pokemon. Make sure you check that out if you haven't in the previous episode. And in this episode, let's take on the final Elite Four member at their strongest. Lucian. This is going to be a, a, a great battle. Ah, you... You're timing I'm your arrival perfectly. I'm still quite worked up from the book I just finished. After seeing all you've accomplished thus far, Donnie, I'd certain, certainly tell you this. You are the protagonist of your own story. And perhaps just makes me an obstacle standing in the way of your heroic journey. Then again, maybe in retelling, Ellen, I will finally trip you up. Wouldn't that be an in intriguing plot twist? Here we go! Lucian at his strongest. He's not holding back. Mr. Mine! Ah, he starts with level 79. Psychic, psychic fairy type. With the ability Filter. So it reduces the power taken by super effective moves by 25%. With the moves, light screen, reflect, psychic, and dazzling lead. It's also holding on to light clay, so it will boost the who's uh, light screen and reflects X uh, duration by an extra five turns. This Mr. Mine is no different from the previous times we fought it. Again, he will try to set up a light screen and reflect as soon as possible to minimize the damage your team can cause. And because of his filter, his Mr. Mind survives, so he's guaranteed to get one of these out. And of course, he chooses the light screen. That was the one I didn't want him to choose. And he's withdrawing his Mr. Mind. Oh, I'm bringing out Bronzor. That's not who I wanted to see. All right, let's hit it with a Shadow Ball. Bronzor, level 80. Steel Psychic with the ability Levitate, so you can't hit it with... Wow! Okay, I'm switching Fuji out. You cannot hit it with ground moves with the ability Durable, Earthquake, Payback, and Rock Slide. It also has a Muscle Band, so its physical moves, I believe, are increased by 10%. Oh, that's right, there's a light screen up, so that's why Shadow Ball did such minim minimal damage. Ooh, good thing I switched Fuji in for that payback. Fuji, shatter that bell and also shatter that light screen. Yep, you're gonna take an earthquake to the face! But at least the light screen's gone, so I don't have to worry about that. Now hit it with a Shadow Claw. Down goes his Bronzor. Now who's he gonna send in next? Ah, he's gonna send in Espeon. Espeon, level 81, pure psychic with the ability Magic Bounce. Which I believe any status move we cast on um, Espeon will instead be reflected back at, back at us. But it doesn't work on abilities, however. Uh, with the moves, Psychic, Dazzling Gleam, Shadow Ball, and Light Screen. Um, if his Mr. Mind failed to set up a Light Screen, or if, um, or if you destroy it, his Espeon will try to set it up instead. It's also holding on to a mental herb, which I believe that uh, kills it from status conditions. Uh, it cures it from uh, infatuation, al along with moves like taunt, encore, and torment. And I'm surprised he didn't try to get the light screen out. But damn, that Espeon hits hard.
Okay, he's bringing back the Mr. Mine. Let's take care of this Mr. Mime once and for all before he can get another uh, light screen or reflect out. There goes his annoyance down. Ooh, he's gonna bring out Slowbro. Slowbro, level 82, water psychic type with the ability Regenerator. Which I believe if he switches it out, it will heal its HP by about 33%. With the moves, Scold, Psychic, Flamethrower, and Slack Off. So, this Slowbro has a nice counter for you if you try to bring a Grass type against it. Uh, Slack Off, I believe, allows it to heal, and also it's holding on to some leftovers. Oh yeah, this thing can take hits. And it's gonna slowly heal. This is probably gonna be his most annoying Pokemon to get rid of. Because of how defensive Slowbro is. He's without doubt probably gonna get it like a full full restores out on it. Or he's gonna use Slack Off. Uh, I could use Fuji for his Wooden Hammer or go for Koshi with uh, Shadow Ball. But I'm worried about the Flamethrower though. That's why I switched to Lewis. I knew the Slowbro was phys had good physical defenses. I didn't think his physical defenses were that good. Imagine if he had the Reflect Up. And of course, oh, of course it was a critical hit. Why wouldn't it? All right, let's bring out Fuji. Let's see how much damage I can do with special attacks. Oh, much more effective than physical, damn. Should have brought up Fuji the fir in the first place. Right, your next Pokemon is Alexam. Alexan, level 82. Ooh, pure Ur Psychic type with the ability Magic Guard. Hard. Um, which I believe Magic Guard protects it from stat. Can only take damage from from damaging attacks. Um, has the moves Nasty Plot, Psychic, Dazzling Gleam, and Shock Wave. It is also holding on to a Life Orb, so its attacks are increased by 30%, but it loses 10% of HP every time it attacks. This Alakazam is meant to hit you really hard. As evidence that he almost one hit- Wow, that was a crit. Uh, Lola's not surviving this battle. I thought Cynthia would give me trouble. I wasn't expecting Lucian. I guess- Ooh, she hanged on. This Shadow Ball actually might take out Alakazam. This battle's getting exciting. I thought the excitement wouldn't begin until we reach Cynthia, but man, Lucian's putting up one great, uh, one heck of a fight. He really wants the greatest story of having a plot twist in this, doesn't he? Here comes his most strongest Pokemon, Gallade. Hmm. 
Hmm, how might I turn this situation to my advantage? Gallade, level 85! Psychic Fighting, with the ability Justified, so if you hit it with Dark type moves, it's gonna get stronger. With the moves Close Combat, Psycho Cut, Poison Jab, and Shadow Sneak, it is also holding onto a Citrus Berry so it can heal if its health gets low enough. Oh no, it actually survived this Dazzling Gleam. And of course it's gonna heal! Ooh, Fuji! A uh, Fuji, Koshi! Good thing your Psychic type mixes that way you take normal damage from fighting type moves, otherwise you would have been really dead! Well, it's lower defenses, it should easily go down with a Dazzling Gleam. So it goes, you held the whole course of the battle in the palm of your hand. I concede defeat. I used every stratagem at my command, but you persevered through all of them. Now all that remains is for you to write your own epic, uh, your, your own, your own, ep, your own epilogue. Next I'll think, next, next I think I do like to read a book about a star. One, one small light, illuminating a galaxy of darkness. Defeated the Elite Four at their strongest, but in the next episode, we will go Owen oh, face the champion herself, Cynthia, at her strongest. If you enjoyed this episode, do like the video, it helps tremendously. Subscribe if you haven't already, leave a comment down below on your thoughts on this episode, and share the video so more people can discover my content and help the channel grow, and I'll see you all next time. Later.